Hello guys. So we are doing something a little bit different on here and we're going to do a voiceover shower slash hygiene routine. So basically today I am going to be getting ready and doing all of the prep work for Thanksgiving. I'm going to have my last like full fall themed shower of the season before I switch over to winter scents. So I'm just going to show you guys everything that I will be using in the shower today. We're doing the full on hair mask, um, scalp scrub, body scrub, shave, oil, shower. Like we are going all out. This is the shower and I am just doing all my prep work so that I feel and look my best for Thanksgiving when I'm going to see my family. So yeah, we're going to hop on into the shower, but first you guys know I got to set the mood. So I put on a Christmas movie. Um, this is Noel on Netflix. So cute. And then of course we're going to start the shower and um, a few of you guys have asked my um, shelves in my shower, those black ones. They are held on by suction cups um, and they're from Amazon. So I'll link my storefront down below and I have them up there. I love those. But we are going to start off with the Sulfate Free Shampoo Scrub from Love Beauty and Planet. I have used this for like two years straight. It is one of my holy grail products. Um, I struggle with dandruff and a really dry and itchy scalp so this combination of this shampoo scalp brush and this scrub um, has really really helped my hair so I use this um, about once or twice a week I alternate it with my shampoo so right now I'm doing scrub so the next time I wash my hair I'll just do my regular shampoo so yeah, now we're gonna wash it out of the hair and it gets this beautiful bubbly lather. I will say it has little like charcoal bits though that kind of get everywhere. <laughs> but now I'm going in with my Amika Soul Food hair mask. This one is like super thick and luxurious and I've gone through quite a few hair masks um, in my day and I do really like this one. So I usually apply my hair mask to the bottom of my hair and then I kind of also get it in on my scalp and I brush it out with a comb um, before I clip it all back on my head. And I just literally leave a clip in the shower to put my hair up with because I hate having it in my face while I'm doing the rest of my shower. So we're doing pumpkin pecan waffles today, maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. You guys know the gist. This is such a good gourmand fall scent. It's so yummy. Um, literally smells like IHOP to me. It smells so good. So I figured this would be great to kind of end the fall season on a high note with that scent. It is so yummy and I'm just going to lather it on up. Um, I think I did like work out before this too. So I'm just like making sure to get, you know, the underarms, get all those hygiene areas because, you know, you need a good scrub down there, especially after a good long sweaty workout. So we're just washing that off and then we're going to go in with the Tree Hut Pumpkin Spice Latte Scrub. And you guys, I got really far on this. I'm almost done. Probably one more use and I will be finished with it. So I'm so proud of myself, but this stuff smells amazing. It really does smell like a pumpkin spice latte. It smells delicious. The feeling is really nice. It is a coarse scrub. I really can only use it like once or twice a week because it's so coarse but it really is perfect for prepping your skin for shaving and then i'm going to go in with my dionis goat milk shave butter this was gifted to me um, for a tiktok that i did for them but um i do actually really like it i just noticed though that you have to use like a ton of the shaving cream because if you don't then it's not going to lather and it's not going to um give you a close shave. So I'm using my Flamingo razor. And now that that's all done, we're going to wash out all of that hair mask. And it's always super hard to get a hair mask out, but my hair feels so nice and soft afterwards. So definitely recommend the Amika mask. It is like 30 bucks though. So a little expensive, but worth it if you are looking for a really good mask. And I'm gonna go in with my Pixi Retinol Jasmine Cleanser. I just started using this, so I can't really give you guys a good review just yet, but it's like a cream cleanser. It's kind of weird, it doesn't bubble up or anything, but so far I'm liking it, so. 
And then I am going to do some teeth whitening. So I have this Smile Direct Club whitening kit. It comes with a little um, UV mouth thing that you put in and then it plugs into your phone. It's really cool. The bad thing though is like my lip will get caught on that when I'm putting it in. And then I just plug it into my phone and set a five minute timer and just go do whatever until the five minutes is up and then we take it out. Um, I was really consistent with this over the summer and it definitely helped um, keep my teeth white. So now I'm going to go in with a face mask. This is the Tony Moly Aloe face mask. This one's really nice and calming and always leaves my skin feeling super hydrated. So when I can, I do a face mask, but honestly, it's about once a month and it really should be like once a week because they are so good for your skin. But I'm going to go in with the Bath & Body Works uh, Stress Relief Eucalyptus Spearmint, I think body oil i love this stuff especially when winter comes around and my skin is getting drier and drier it's perfect for right after a warm shower to keep that moisture locked in and then white pumpkin and chai in the lotion for all over the body it's really nice to do this whenever your skin is kind of freshly out of the shower because you're still holding in that moisture from the shower from those products that you used in there and it's really going to help lock in that moisture before it escapes you know when you go outside in the cold or even as your skin dries just being in the house so and then we're going to take out the hair from my little turban that was just a little one that i got from i think like tj maxx super simple but i am going in with my living proof scalp serum this stuff is also amazing and has helped my scalp eczema so much so i'm putting it kind of behind my ears on the crown of my head and the nape of my neck that's where i get the most kind of problem areas and then i'm just gonna kind of shake it in and then i am gonna go in with the jvn air dry cream i like to let my hair air dry if i can especially if i'm gonna like go to bed or something i would much rather you know sleep on my hair wet and then wake up to it dry than blow dry it i just really try to prevent heat as much as possible and then I'm going in with my Olaplex number no. six bonder and I think this has worked for my hair honestly I haven't been able to tell that much that much of a difference um and then the Sol de Janeiro leave-in um conditioner I love this stuff I actually just finished it like filming that clip so I'm really sad that it's gone because it smelled so so good And then look at that glow to my skin. I really need to use face masks more often because, or at least she's sheet masks more often because they give you so much moisture. And then we're going in with the white pumpkin and chai spray. I'm just gonna chill at the house for the rest of the day. So this is just a prep for Thanksgiving, guys. This is not the Thanksgiving routine, but this is Kayali Vanilla 28. That's going on for my perfume. So that is kind of the situation that we're going on with the scents for the day and then i'm just going to put on my vitamin c serum for mary Kay and my moisturizer and then we are done with the prep for thanksgiving routine okay i hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me since it is not actually thanksgiving when i'm filming this i am going to show you guys a few outfit options that i'm thinking of and you can let me know what you think down below it may or may not be cold here for Thanksgiving. We're still, we still don't know yet if it'll be 70 or 50. So I have two different options and I want you guys to let me know what you think down below. So outfit option number one is for the hot weather. So I've got this little combo here of this sweater vest and skirt. So the sweater vest is from Pink Rose and I did pick this up at TJ Maxx this year. I believe it was like 18 or $20 and it's so cute and nice and comfy and definitely would be good for if it's warm outside. And then I do have this squirt, which doesn't actually have a brand tag on it. I thrifted this from Goodwill, so I don't know where it's from. I wanna say it's probably just from Shein or something, but it's this gorgeous burnt orange color and it has a little peekaboo. So I thought this would be really nice and adorable. So these two together. And then for the shoes, I was thinking I still wanna keep it very fall. So some cognac camel colored boots super cute and slouchy and they go perfect with like any sort of skirt or short or whatever so this is 
outfit option number one. Okay, now for outfit option number two. For the bottoms, I was thinking my Abercrombie denim. These are the 90s straight ultra high rise and they are really comfy and cute and they have this really nice little slit at the bottom which is perfect for anything with like a slight heel because I am short and I got these in a regular so um, they're a little too long for me, but if I have a heel on, then I will be good. So this is the denim for the look. And then for the top, I wanted to keep it a little understated. So the top right here is Old Navy, and it's actually a bodysuit and has a beautiful square neckline. I thought it was adorable. I just picked this up, so they definitely still carry it. And then for over that, just to keep me a little warm, is this puffer vest. It's super cute and cozy and comfy with the shirt on the inside. This is from the brand Active USA. I bought this like four or five years ago from TJ Maxx. So I don't know how to find this one now, but this is the top. And then the best part are the booties. These are little Cupid booties and they're cheetah print and they go perfectly with the vest. So I thought this would be nice and fun to add like a little pop of something um, versus kind of going towards color, which I usually do every Thanksgiving. I wear something kind of colorful in like a jewel tone. I thought going for something really neutral would be cute this year. So that is outfit option number two. Okay, so that is everything for this video. I hope you guys are excited for Thanksgiving. Let me know down below what your favorite food item is that you guys eat for Thanksgiving. Mine is honey ham because we get that every single year for Thanksgiving and Christmas and it's so, so yummy. And if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, then let me know down below what scents you'll be wearing for this week. I'm kind of closing out the fall. Definitely the white pumpkin and chives are going on this week in general, and especially for Thanksgiving. It's my favorite scent to wear on Thanksgiving. But yeah, that's everything for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving.